Hello and welcome to the Tauntaun Squadron's top four, semi-final number two. And on the left, you may notice a rather familiar player. Kind of decent at this game, to be honest. Kind of very decent at this game. Mr. Ollie Potton. Probably going to be the longest running world champion at this game ever. And they are just setting up with their, uh, their starting maneuver. So I'm going to give them their full time to uh, set up their asteroids, obstacles, all that sort of stuff. So we will go through the list and show you what we actually have. Uh, as you can see, three fangs, red, yellow and green. Initiative ones, not the Skull Squadron. So these, as you can probably tell, are quite cheap. They are 41 points each, 21 for half. But the main one is Kanan Jarrus. That's from the new Phoenix Cell pack. Uh, he's in the Hawk. He's at 76, so 38 for half health. And he has went all out on this, giving him the title. So that out the front, he's got three die attack, two dies out the side. He has went for hate which allows every time he gets in. Hello? Oh, sorry, are you recording this? Yes. Ooh, am I dropping? Yes. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Uh, so height costs three. Uh, after you suffer one or more damage, recover that many force. And he's also got maul. After you suffer damage, you may gain one stress token to recover one force. That's pretty good. Thermal detonators. He has four charges. He can drop two at the same time using a one and a two, or he can drop one at a time or twos and two ones. He's also put engine upgrade on it for that red boost to get him absolutely in range to kill something. That's pretty good. And the second one is, well, it's, it's what we call the rebel... 666. It's the I6 list. It's Han Solo in the Millennium Falcon with Kane and Jarrus, who gives him a force point. Uh, after a friendly ship at range 02 fully executes a white maneuver, you can spend that force to remove stress from that ship. He also has R2, making him very hard to kill, seeing as every time if you are damaged and not shielded, you can roll an attack die to recover a shield. On a hit result, you expose one of your cards. So a little bit of uh, fun stuff. If uh, you roll out and then hit a direct damage and die, that's pretty poor. Wedge completely naked apart from his S-Foils and Hera with the range 1 to 2, 5 die in Bullseye Protons. So this is where we are. That pretty much looks like they're set. I'm going to let them do their uh, dials and get them all set. Don't think uh, his that's it all done. So Kanan's got his turret to the left. Uh, foils closed on Daniel's side. And we are looking pretty good to go here, I think. So two fantastically good players. Um, trying to get to the final of the Keep It Family Tournament that started with 24, went to a top 8. The top 8 disappeared. No surprises that Oli Pognol has made the semi-final. No surprise that Daniel Alfie has made the final either. Uh, two great lists, two great players. I am certainly looking forward to the next 1 hour and 15 minutes. My name is Sith Holocron. I'm here to commentate on this fantastic, hopefully great game Do it. and we are off so commentary starting all good so let's see what Ollie Pocknell actually does here What game are you watching? I'm recording the semi-final for us. I'm doing the commentary. Oh, okay. Well, I better leave you alone then. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. I really do need to get my own commentary channel. 
in here. Uh, so off we go. Um, little moves, little barrel rolls. Off he goes. So these initiative one fangs uh, still get Concordia Dawn. So if that if you're at range one and you're in the opponent's arc uh, and you're defending, you can uh, get an extra evade. Just any dice at all. So even a blank is a guaranteed evade, which is pretty good. Um, it appears that Daniel have, has probably chosen extreme violence. Uh, good for him that he's uh, within range of an asteroid, as he can reroll all his dice. If he can take a target lock, uh, Hera gives him a focus anywhere close. That's extreme violence. So a stressed Han right away. That's bravery. I would expect them, if we're going to go like this, that's a, that's a good move. A focus on Wedge. Another very fast move from Hera. Five straight. Takes the uh, focus. Doesn't stress her out. Which is kind of handy, I suppose. And uh, are we going to get an engagement on round one? I mean, is that actually going to happen? It is going to happen. Well, that's fantastic. So Han gets to shoot first uh, into green or red. I assume that they will uh, show what they are doing by pinging who they are attacking. So a little bit of a discussion here. Uh, two die hand shots. Let's have a look. Uh, one hit. Hera passes the focus over. Doesn't, decides not to, spends the Canaan. And that is two hits straight into. Is it green? Does green take two hits? Who are we firing at? It is green. And instantly, just like yesterday's game. We have half health already. Uh, so one hit. Gets the reroll from Han. He is stressed. Hera will have to spend that over if that's what she wants to do. Does do that. Uh, next fine. Red. Two hits. To Natty evades. So that's um, early doors and early blood right away uh, for uh, Daniel. That's half points on green already. Obviously, Kanan with the multi crow can uh, keep up to two focus tokens on his hawk. Brilliant, brilliant. Um, pilot ability that he can spend a force to make attackers lose uh, attack dice, which is why Han should have been rolling three and didn't as he'd spent the force. Maul also gives him a second force. So that's pretty much what he's doing to try and keep his force levels up. Out of which he also has hate. So every time he takes damage, he will replenish that force right away. So round two, we haven't even played five minutes and one of the zealous recruits is at half health. Will they continue walking into each other like two fencers? Though I, I think if they continue to do that, they would need sledgehammers and try and bust things wide open. This three I6 rebel alliance list is, is really, really good. Um, it's a really good list. So currently Wedge's wings are open. He can just trundle forward one. Hera could trundle forward two. The Fangs could get in deep and dirty. And a, and a half health uh, Han Solo. Uh, 
just let me see how much he is worth. He's, so he's pretty much worth 50 points right away, if you can get that down. Uh, Kanan and R2 are the two crew. Uh, so no hull upgrade. It is just you know the bog standard 13 that you get with the five shields and eight hull. Big, beefy ship. So let's see what we actually get in this turn. So the fangs will go first at I1. And then Kanan. So pretty much all of Ollie's list goes first. And there's not an awful lot of uh, uh, tricks in here. Uh, I assume at some point he would like Kanan to be able to drop some of those lovely thermal detonators that you see on the left-hand side of the screen. Uh, he has four charges. So uh, just underneath where it says engine upgrade and moldy crow, those are the yellow four charges. He spends them either one at a time or he can spend two at a time twice so it's up to him full full what a good grief there we go that's absolutely flung in um great maneuver hoping to maybe block uh the the nice the nice turn away from han is he going for a three he is indeed so he can get a focus and yellow, I assume, will do something quite similar and also focus. I would then also assume, there we go, and a secondary focus. I, I assume that's what he'll give him as an action, which indeed he does. Which leads us very nicely to Daniel's turn. Let's see what he's did. So, uh, Ham. I tried to do a, a two, a hard two, I would, I would assume. A nice easy forward there from Wedge Antilles. Well, either probably target lock or focus, but focus is really good. Again, nice and simple. Uh, I would expect a lot of violence here, to be completely honest. So let's actually see where we are. And let's see what is happening. So Wedge is going to shoot first, I assume, at red, at range two. So Wedge's ability says, if you, whatever defense dice that you currently roll, you roll one less. Kanan says, nope, you're rolling one less too. And that is a hit crit onto red. Spends that focus to take absolutely no damage whatsoever. I assume this is going to be a procket attack into Kanan. Because if you've taken prockets, surely that's a very, very good thing to go and do. He is uh, going to have to think about it. He has the focus, which is the requirement to fire it. Just fires the primary weapon. Does not think that this is the best time to do it. Two evades there from Kanan. All good. And sadly, because Han Solo has bumped, his arcs are not in any danger of shooting any of all his ships. So let's have a look here. Um, will he go primary out the front in Terra? If he doesn't, he decides to go into Han which is quite clever as he has absolutely no tokens whatsoever three die attack out the front with his primary weapon spend one of those focuses my man and he does so that is three hits and gets one die he gets a reroll because he's beside an asteroid he takes three hits just like that and han solo loses three shields Range one of Han. This guy has spent that, but that is two crits. That is a blank, a reroll again from Han because of his ability. That is all the shields now gone off Han. 
and I think this will probably be yep it's a range two shot uh, spend up focus he's done all his shooting and yet again more blanks from Daniel but gets it and that uh, that is everything off Han Solo shield wise I don't believe that uh, the fang over there has any shot either so we are looking quite well so as you can see here uh, quite a quick thing uh, no points yet for Ollie um, but the five shields off the 13 is very very good indeed so there's just the eight hull left so all the crits that now go in after this will be very big indeed now he's got to be very wary of the hard two uh from hera she could even do a five of five k wedge probably wants to get shots on as fast as possible but that amazing um ability of Kanan's has already paid off very very well uh, the fangs love being uh annoyances and at initiative one they get to shoot last but they do get to move first as you saw in the last round a brilliant block on han i would expect han to probably do some sort of a two forward to keep his arc there and then kind of do maybe a two bank to the right or a two hard to the right we will have to wait and see what they are all doing. Kanan, I think, is quite happy just trundling along here. Um, as Ollie gets to go first, he will probably give himself chances to either barrel roll for better position, like you saw him doing the first two games as well. Uh, first two turns, my apologies. Um, but both people have got severely good chances. Daniel's just going to have to make sure that he isn't blocked like he was with Han from the green zealous recruit. And as all good players like to do, I mean, I, I could genuinely see a two bank here from from Han Solo. Maybe a one forward from Wedge, but that would then put Wedge at a, a, an awful disadvantage if the fangs have went very, very slowly. Um, so you could possibly lose one of your aces and this is a nice list it's got a beefy hand it's a really strong list um, Daniels is a 200 point list so Ollie's is 199 so Ollie will have either given um, himself or Daniel the uh, initiative uh, to be fair in this game it's only really down to who puts down a rock first as Daniels Three ships will always fire first at I-6. So it's good to see them actually uh, slowing down now. They've had a, two rounds of pew-pewing. And now it's maybe time to take stock of, of where you're actually at. Because losing a ship here, when uh, Dan has only got the three, uh, that would be a lot more disastrous than Ollie losing, say, another half on red or green. So red, I can see, is set. Pretty sure yellow is set as well. So uh, lots of good. This will put me here. This will put me there. So green has went forward. And this appears to be the first uh, thermal detonator being put down by. That seems seems relatively fair. That should have happened at the start of the systems phase. Uh, we're now in the movement phase. So green uh, made his maneuver, manages to be able to take a focus. Yellow. A lovely little turn in there. The dials on those ships are absolutely fantastic. Um, white hard ones, hard three, 
and the hard every maneuver that is a blue is doable there. Interesting to see where he's went with this. Has he went for the bank? He has. So that leaves a nice hard two for Hera. And I assume there'll be a bank in here from Canaan. There is. Maybe blocking uh, the gentle one to the right from Luke, which would have been a good maneuver. Solo decides to go to escape velocity, which is a, a good idea. He is within range one of an asteroid, so he will get his hand reroll from his pilot ability. And Daniel is thinking about what action to take. Uh, probably uh, goes for the target lock. I like hand with the target lock. That's pretty good. Um, Hera does a two forward will focus because that's a good thing to pass across and Kanan has actually given the bump so no bonus there at all thermal detonator goes off that is one of the four gone good idea to put it just in case Hera decided to do the 5k but didn't clever flying by Daniel Athe and now we have all of these to do starting with Wedge Range 2 into yellow. So Kanan kicks in, spends a force, please only use two. Uh, unmodded, he gets one hit. And Nadi evades from yellow. Hera has absolutely no shot. I would assume this will probably go in. So green is obstructed, that's the damaged one. Um, that would be at range 2. So he is going to go. Uh, range two. That's a terrible roll. He'll probably re-roll them all, which he does. Uh, for three hits, that's a super roll. Uh, spends the focus. Yellow takes absolutely no damage at all. And sadly, that now means that the fangs can sh shoot back. Green has absolutely no shot. Neither does red. Uh, range three shot, two out the side for uh, Kane and Jareth. Spend that focus. Two hits. Range three, so he gets two dice. Will he just take the one? It is only a hit. Takes the damage. Takes the damage on Sahan. Range two from the Fang. Two hits, one more damage into Han. And that is half health. But not any longer as R2 kicks in. It gives him a shield back. So just when he thinks he's got 50 points, it all goes very, very badly wrong indeed. So loses. The 50 that he'd gained. Now he does have two damage, so I will uh, put that in to the overlay, which I already have because it's eight. Uh, but uh, seeing as he still has seven, that is more than enough. To do that, one more will do it. I would assume a few more guns on target from Ollie. And taking out Han, you know, is half the points. It's 99. So that's really good. Wedge at 54 and Hera at 47. Uh, but Hera does have her proton rockets, which is a range one to two, five die. And only needs to focus to get that as long as she has something in her bullseye arc. So uh, she's down there at the bottom, being kind of cool and groovy. Uh, good for Ollie that he didn't take any more damage to any of his ships at all, which is 
pretty much what you're after when you're a world champion. He kind of knows how to fly this game a lot. I would expect here um, some sort of repositioning uh, from the fangs. Um, that is a debris right in front of Han. So maybe a, a two away, maybe a two hard away, rotate the turret. He could do something like that. Um, I would assume a, a nice easy one from um, Kanan just to as the green and the red will disappear um, red could probably go and do something like a three forward or a two forward and then uh, boost around depending on where he thinks Han will go uh, that would be something similar with the fine so uh, their maneuvers very agile indeed very very agile indeed uh luke is in a, 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 a in a pretty tough spot he's probably i mean green could hard two um he, if it was me i'd move red first green two hard two and barrel roll to try and catch luke in arc um there's a nice little 2k talent that's uh, pretty good from red there is the hard maneuver from green and he will barrel roll to see if he gets a shot he can uh, also take a focus and stress himself out as that is a linked action on the fang fighter that is a brilliant maneuver from yellow uh, that's an absolutely superb maneuver that's an even better maneuver to link that into a focus does he want the stress or is he just happy to see what's going to happen he takes the stress and the focus Kanan can just stay where he is as he has got that maneuver there's a hard one from Hera can't barrel roll to the right can't boost well could boost forward or but could barrel roll to the left uh, barrel roll only available on the A-wing as an action um, takes the focus that's probably the best idea uh, let's see where wedge goes let's have a look did he just bump there did he do a, a maneuver and not get it okay so um Khan has done the bank which is uh, the best move for it he is within range one of an asteroid and i i fear for yellow i i fear for yellow i he's not on the best spot but he does have a focus so let us see where we are at here so three defense dice it's range one but not in bullseye so three for her and here he goes hit hit crit spends the focus and i can't see what that actually is that's that's pretty bad that I can't see what that is, but it is a crit. So nothing there from the two hits. The Natty Evades do very well indeed. Han Solo at the rear will spend that absolutely for hit, hit, crit. Four die because it's at range three. So that's a hit. And another crit. And a... Apologies, I cannot see the... the crits. There are two crits there. But uh, here's where it may all go horribly wrong indeed. So let's see where we're going. It's going to be a range one shot into Hera. He has focus. Spends it for two. Hera completely untouched at the minute. Can spend that focus to stay alive. Or did not take one. What's he going to do? Takes the shield off Hera.
So now all the fangs can go in to look at range one. Oh no, that's that's unfortunate. Completely gets nothing there. Here's another range one shot. See if he's got a force. He's got a focus that is hit hit crit into Luke. Luke blanks, so takes three and that crit that, that I can't see. I apologize so much that I cannot see what is happening with those, but that is more points. That is a range two shot from red, three die out the front. One hit and one evade. So people are not doing so badly here. No damage done on hand, still has the uh, shield up, so no points for Ollie after all that really good shooting in the first couple of rounds. Um, you see the force being flung back on there by uh, Kenna. And now he has uh, a lot of stressed ships because he stopped dead with Ken and Jareth. So now we're going to try and be getting a, well, a few more blocks, I would assume. Um, 42 points to 27, so very, very close. Uh, obviously, Wedge is uh, down to three hole. And he has a crit. Sadly, I have no idea what the crit is. I'm just going to hit it and see. And that is a loose stabilizer. So let me do that. So there's the loose stabilizer on him. And I'll just quickly go over there. That is. So we'll get that in a wee minute. We will, we will let them do what they're doing. Stunned and blinded. So we'll add those in. So blinded pilot. Stunned pilot. They're not good things to have, to be fair. And uh, Zealous has only got one hole left. But the, the loose stabilizer isn't great on, on Wedge either, to be, to be honest. It could be worse, I suppose. But um, we shall wait and see what happens next. So coming up to uh, 45 minutes left in the game. So an absolute ton of stuff to do. Um, has Maul paid for his points? Probably in the first round of engagement. Yes, he did outside of that. Possibly not. But who am I to tell the world champion how to build this thing? I personally think Gleb is a very good card to put on him. And we haven't seen any... Uh, in Engine boosts and the, the one thermal uh, didn't do anything at all, really. So uh, let's just see exactly where we are here. I'm just going to move my thing to there. So Kanan completely untouched. Hera has lost a shield. Uh, Wedge has lost both his shields and a hull. He has a loose stabilizer. And Han Solo is one away from being halved, which will be 50 points. The green recruit, half points. Zealous recruit for the yellow, one away from death. The red is completely untouched and so is Kane. So let's see where we actually end up here. Uh, nice move by yellow. Uh, trying to get out of dodge for a bit. Will he go green next? He does. Um, loses his stress, barrel roll. To uh, do that link action that gives him a stress and a focus. Another blue maneuver, loses the stress. Can't really do anything to do anything else with. 
And then I assume we're going to see a, a, a one bank. Or no, a, a getaway. A, a fantastic getaway by Kanan. That's a super thing. He has no focuses, so I would assume that that would be uh, something he would be very, very interested in doing. But uh, decides instead to rotate his turret out the back. And he can do that and link it to the focus. So that's pretty good. Now let's see who we start with. Han has decided to do the Kessel run and uh, getting it out of there. Turning his arc for future turns. I like that a great deal. A hard one there from Hera. Who will have a proton shot if she likes probably will not under any circumstances i mean she had the chance to do it into canaan earlier on didn't um if that bank fitted to the left if that boost went in um i would be very very scared of um her taking a focus and then boosting in but she's not she she is however in red's bullseye so um, definitely within range for that. It will 110% be the focus that has just appeared. And Luke, because of that amazing barrel roll, has bumped yet again. So uh, that's another damage because of the bump and loose stabilizer that has actually taken that completely out. So let me get rid of that. That has gone, but he's now got two left. So let's see what Hera decides to do. Is this the time for the Proton to get the completely untouched red out of our... Again, that, that brilliant ability... Makes Hera's primary just a one, and Daniel blanks. He's not having the best of luck with the red dice right now. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's the only thing that he has. So th that's his only shot this round. Out the back. Got to be a range one shot into Luke. He only needs two to hit him. That could be it. Luke does get two dice. And that is a travesty for Wedge Antilles, who explodes altogether. And that's not what Daniel wanted to see. There's the full 54 points for Ollie by removing that brilliant end piece that it is. Um, I don't think anybody else has any shots whatsoever. But uh, let me just move Wedge down one to there. So, coming up to around 40 minutes left to go. It's very, very close indeed. It's only a 12-point game. Ollie on 54, Daniel 42. But if it was to take a few fangs off here, that would uh, make Daniel a very, very happy X-Winger. But uh, first blood as in ship destroyed to Ollie Pocknell. So fangs don't really care about being stressed. Every single one of their two manoeuvres will do something. But uh, you know for a fact that none of the fangs apart from red, who is still untouched and Kanan is still completely at full health. Do they now go... And try and take out Hera. Or do they go full bore. To try and take half points on Han. Han will probably do a two hard right. Or maybe even just bank in. Uh, he's got his mobile arc. Towards the inside of the board. So uh, looking kind of good indeed. I expect blue maneuvers from all the fangs. Uh, be very interesting to see where Kanan ends up. And you're watching two really good players play. Uh, if you're brand new to X-Wing, Ollie is 
thoroughly a deserving world champion at this guy. And uh, he likes to play the Ham Hera wedge list. And that pretty much is his build. So he knows all its tricks. Um, you know, Kanan gives you the force for um, an extra hit. I've also seen him fly over a debris with a wipe maneuver to get a, 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 a stress and then it removes it. And then you've managed to take a focus, which was fantastic flying. So quite a bit to go. Daniel down to two ships, so this makes this uh, a little harder, to be honest. Um, still has the proton torpedo. So there is a, a nice blue maneuver. Where does so he takes the focus? Deliberating whether or not to uh, remaneuver from there. I assume if he's keeping the focus out, he's going to boost, which he does indeed. It's a one forward boost. Bangs like to get up close and personal. So red or yellow next, it's going to be red. Red does a three bank to the right. That's a great move. Uh, keeps him like that. There is a two hard from yellow and a barrel roll to the left, which will again get him. Now he needs to be very wary of that lovely uh, debris cloud in front of him. And a nice turn there from Kane and Jarrus, who I will assume will take another focus. Uh, doesn't, rotates the turret, can still take um, a stress if he wanted to. Doesn't, he keeps it where it is, stresses that out, makes sure if anybody's shooting these two, his arc is on them. That's a pretty close to range one, I would assume. Hera has bumped and has no shots. So let us see what we get here from Han Solo. I think I may, I'm pretty sure that's range one, uh, to the asteroid in the the top middle of the board, just above the green fang. So let's see what's going to happen. Han, as always, will shoot first. Uh, has got green. He also has, the, he takes the target lock on green. He will still. Oh, so green is obstructed range two, unobstructed range three into uh red he's going to take the two and i would assume we will see now what we're getting because that's another good one so he is going into green green has two hole left he has a hit crit spins that focus not today thank you and um i'm afraid uh kind of has to go first at i3 Let's see where we actually are. It is range three. So three die primary attack out the front. He has two focuses. He will spend one of those. That is three hits. He gets one. Loses a shield. Takes another damage. So that is that and that. Down to five. Range two obstructed. So three die into two. No focus, no mods. It is what it is going to be. That is at least two. The other die has disappeared. It is three. That is two more. Oh, Han. So Ollie up to 104. Big shot from downtime. Three dice with a focus. That's hit crit. Spend the force. Do not take a crit. But he does take the crit. And the crit is fuel leak, which triggers right away, but he is okay. 
So that's good. We'll get that onto Han as well. So feel like not good every time you would take uh, a hit, you take a critical damage instead. Can we get this off? So that is six down. He should have two hull. One, two, three, four, five, six. So two left on Han Solo. Uh, that was a fantastic round of shooting for uh, Ollie. Brilliant block with yellow, uh, with only one health, doing really, really well. I mean, they're not what you would call expensive ships at 41 points each, so you couldn't run five in a 200-point list. But um, to be able to block and allow your other three ships to shoot and not have lost any by this stage, um, Ollie looks a bit in control in this game. I, I, I am struggling to see where Daniel can pull this back. He needs to get that Kanan off the board. So, Ollie, I assume, will know this. So, a nice hard two by yellow to block that would probably be the best maneuver. A bank in from red. Um, he could maybe even try and block Han. All depends if Han decides to go near the rock to try and get the re rolls to try and take one ship off the board. Green has two hull, yellow on one, red untouched, Kanan untouched. Uh, but Hera's still in good shape, and Hera's a really, really good ship. The problem for Daniel is she's far too far away to pass any tokens whatsoever. So she needs to do some work, but Ollie's been fantastically good so far, denying her any action, any modification, just flown excellently so far. Um, there are considerable thoughts of Yellow doing a two hard left and Kanan dropping a thermal, say the, the range two one. That looks like it. So I assume that yellow will off ski quite quickly uh, with it. With the two. Is he going to drop both? Is he going to drop both? So there's one at range one. And then he's going to drop another one at range two. Daniel being the gentleman that he is. So there we go. Anything in range one of that, you have to roll a dice. Any hit or crit, damage goes through. So there is the hard two away from the yellow. Um, probably will, if he's right, I think he would probably boost to the left uh, to ensure that he doesn't get a shot from Hera. But can fit the barrel roll in right to the front. I would stress and take the focus, but he doesn't. So there is the hard two from uh, green. Just so he can do that in case there is a one forward or a one from Han. That is another good thought process by Red, who has got everything that he could ever want here. Um, to be fair, I'd probably keep him there. Maybe even... So the focus that you can see on the screen isn't actually there. Uh, I think he's deliberating a boost or a barrel roll. Um, staying right there would be quite good if Han has done like a, a three forward or a four forward to try and just get out of dodge. Daniel, I don't think will have done that, but we will certainly soon see. If Hera has done a 5 forward, it'll, I'll be delighted. So he's just taken that focus away because it's not actually there. He has taken it. Is he going to take it? These are all good questions, aren't they? It's more guns, so he just took the focus. Um, we have got guns on here. But with that arc out the side, does he want it out 
the other side? Is he going to out the front? Is he going to keep it there? He's got the main gun anyway. He's got a primary attack. He's just going to try and decide where he goes. Is he going to do a big four manoeuvre forward to try and clear it? I don't think that will clear it. So keeping it to the left is probably a far better idea. Let's see where we go. And he does. He actually clears. That's a brilliant manoeuvre. Now he is at range one of a fang. So does he want to try and take out the green? Uh, he probably is not at range one of an asteroid, so it will be whatever it is. He does have a target lock on green, I believe. So maybe a focus here and try and get um, four hits. Or at least three. And there is the hard three from Hera. She has landed on one of them. Now, with her ability, I think she's trying to see... She's going to have to boost out of there. She does not want to take anything whatsoever. So, she, with the protons, she needs her focus if she's going to do something important in this round. And my apologies. Han has got a shield back from R2. So we will go back and fix that. And R2 is such a, such a, a, a good, good thing. So there's a target lock on to her. So that's one hit. Let me see what's going on here. Very difficult because I am allowing the players to play their own game and uh, at DC know how to play. So first one will go off first. That's probably the one that she's on. So that would be a hit. Yep. And then the second one is a blank. So she loses her shield. That is half points on Hera. So 128 to 42, 27 minutes left. A ship has to die here without question for Daniel to have any success here at all. He can then fly down another three, um, keep the turret where it is, get beside that rock for range one and get all his rerolls and try and take something off. Crucially here, he's got to get what he thinks is right. As in, who shoots first? Is it going to be Han at range one into something? Can he take green off the board with that target lock? Uh, it now appears that Kanan has got the target lock, but is he actually in arc? I would assume that he is. I'm going to go to my main view. And time is off. Okay, so here we go. Uh, only one shot. That does not appear to be hitting. So... Let's go back to this. Kanan does kick in. So instead of the four die, Han Solo is only rolling three. There's definitely, I mean, that would be extremely close to that bottom asteroid uh, to range one to get the, uh, the reroll. But uh, let's see, he's going into the Vangus. That's the only target that he has. He gets two hits, re-rolls that target lock, gets a eyeball, so it's two hits. That could be enough. Three die for Ollie. And Green has gone the way of the dodo. What a shame for Ollie. 
So we'll move him down to the bottom and let's see what we're going to get back. So Hera only has range two shots. Does not, as far as I know, have anything apart from her primary. So she will go two in the front. She gets one hit. Spends her target lock. Doesn't spend that lock. And Kanan takes his first damage of the game, losing a shield. So this is a four die attack. Oh my lord. Triple hit crit. So hit, hit, crit. Hit, hit, crit. And it all triggers. It all goes. And Ham now off the board. I don't believe the other Fang has got a shot at all. Kanan is fully force charged up. The score is now 177 to 62. Hera does have a procket though. If she can do something, then even if she can take Han off the board, we could have a game for the last 20 minutes. But she needs to not be blocked, not have anything happen at all. So Ollie knows how to play this game better than probably anybody on Earth. So I would assume... That the yellow will just fly around and try not to engage and do anything and let the red and the one lost shield Kanan do the damage as we only need two into the three agility A-Wing. Problem is, if Hera gets a focus bullseye shot, one of those ships are just going to explode. It's been a cracking game so far. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I'm enjoying commentating it. And here is where I would expect the game to actually slow down. Um, Ollie is in no rush. He is over 100. Is what? He's 115 points up. Three ships against one. Coming to the end of the last 20 minutes of this game of X-Wing 2.0. And I would say he's pretty pretty close to being in the face. One foot in the final. So options. Yellow for me on one health um, needs to. I mean, even if he gives it up, it's it's only uh, another twenty points that so would give um, Danny Arthi eighty two. For instance, when I mean, we're not talking. Huge, huge amounts of stuff here. Um, it's only an extra 20. Um, there is the final thermal detonator. So the thermal detonators are gone. So they're out of there. Clever, clever, clever boy. Red has blocked because he's pretty convinced that's a good move. Yellow has come in to try and sort another gun on attack. Is that a good idea? What happens if, if Hera has went a two a bank two? Then maybe yellow can go. Red will probably not have a shot. Kanan really needs that uh, mobile arc turned the other way, which is what he does. He then gets a target lock on Hera. Hera has done that maneuver. Red, no shot. But then isn't getting shot at either. And then 
Ollie just reminding Daniel that there's a bomb, a thermal detonating bomb. So will we see some sort of... So there is that. She can now boost. It will stress her out. So both get hit. Are they going to roll their own die? I assume there is a hit on red. So that's the first damage done onto him. So it's a range one shot. Did not get him in bullseye, but does have the focus. That's what she needs. She will be taking two shots back. I will, will assume she's getting her three. She is getting her three. Kanan out of his ability to be able to do anything. Um, <laughs> dice and maneuver templates going everywhere. He has to roll his dice, but uh, not much when you get that. So, Kanan next, unless he's not in arc. Appears not to be. Range one with a focus but he has to do kind of first it goes on initiative order guys you know that so range one from the fang only gets the two that could be enough and that is all she wrote ladies and gentlemen Double blanks is the end of the game. That is our game of X-Wing over. And that is a convincing win for Ollie Pocknell. Commiserations to Daniel Affey. But that's a good list. Fangs showing their bite. So Ollie Pocknell wins 200 to 62. Thank you so much for watching this semi-final top four cut of the Keep It Family put on by the Tauntaun Squadron from Ireland. My name is Seth Holocron. Leave some comments in the pinned comment section underneath. And thank you very much for watching. Till we see you next time, keep flying.